Why does that look hazy like that? I wonder if something is on the... We're back up. I had to stop for gas. And yesterday when I was on my way back home, I had already passed by the gas station that I like to come to when I realized that I needed gas. So instead of turning around, I continued on to the journey to the house. I continued on home. And so I had said to myself, when you get in the house, write yourself a note so you won't forget that you need gas. And so you will leave early. Well, the good thing is, I left a couple minutes early. I'm sanitizing because the gas station. Ooh, child. I'm sanitizing. Um, I did leave early, but I would have left at least five minutes earlier than I did had I remembered that I needed gas because I did not remember to write myself that note when I got back in the house. So I'm going to get to my appointment right, right, right on time. And I like to get there. Um... I like to get there at least like five, 10 minutes early because I will sit in the car and kind of decompress, gather my thoughts, sip on some water, check my phone and do all of that so I can be fully present in the session. But I'm not gonna get to do that today. When I get there today, I'm gonna have to go straight in. So I'm gonna gather my thoughts now. I usually listen to whatever day I'm on in the Bible in one year. Um, so I'm gonna do that and cause it's like a 30 minute drive. So I'm going to listen to that and it usually takes about 20 minutes to get through that. Listen to all of the passages and the devotional. So I'm getting ready to log off from you guys. So I'm getting ready to hear this is the Bible in one year, day 95 or day 97. I don't remember which day I'm on, but I know I'm in the late nineties. And I enjoy it. I like listening to the devotional. And I love accents. And uh, Nikki Gumbo wrote this devotional, I believe. And then whoever the voice is for the um, verses is very deep, very rich. And the Lord said to Moses, Come hither to the mountain. Take off your shoes. <laughs> Oh, gosh. Anyway, yeah, so if you listen to the Bible in one year, you know that. Or if you read the Bible in one year, you know that it'll do, like, it's usually four or five passages. You might get two passages from, like, Psalms or Proverbs, two passages from the Old Testament, and two passages from the New Testament. Something like that. So that's kind of how it is. Anyway, I'm about to jump on 20, so... While I'm at this light, I'm going to get off here with y'all and go ahead and get on my Bible in one year. And yeah, I'll check with y'all when I get out of my therapy session. That's a pretty bold squirrel right there. Alright folks, I am thirsty. I'm sitting outside of Starbucks. I'm gonna go in here and get some work done. Um, I just left my therapy session, so I haven't been gone from there long took me about maybe 10 minutes to drive over here and I got some stuff to work on but um yeah I'm just kind of processing trying to decompress from everything that we talked about in the session it was a good session it wasn't like a very emotional session but it was definitely a time of trying to talk through like what am I actually feeling and why for a certain situation. Um, so that's been interesting. It's been interesting. It's been interesting. It's been good. One of the good things about therapy is that 
you know, as you talk and as your therapist asks you different questions, you're able to make connections about yourself and your experiences. In making those connections, there are, are things that come to the surface that you really can give to God and things that you can really ask God to show you how to move forward, how to not get stuck in past experiences. Um, and just the way you view yourself, the way you view your experiences, the way you view other people, the way you view God. It's just so much can come of just describing a situation and the things that happened in the situation, how you felt in the situation, um, you know, what your goals and desires are. There really is great benefit to going to therapy or some type of some type of talk therapy some type of counseling and people know even when you use when you use the word counseling sometimes people think like oh you're going to be giving someone good advice but honestly a really good counselor asks really good questions and they listen really well and they're able to pick up on things that you don't even catch even though you're the one who's saying it you're able they're able to pick up on things and ask you questions that really help you to tap into things that are important to your emotional and mental well-being so um my session was good today um it is pretty cool out but it's it's, it's starting to warm up i was so happy when i left my house because it was 60 something degrees but i'm really excited about how we're feeling this nice fall crispiness out here friends i'm back um let's see i think we left off after i left my therapy session i want to make sure i properly end day three so since you didn't get ready with me today you can get unready with me today <laughs> used to use this mm. I always thought it smelled so good I just thought it has such a regal smell to it <laughs> um, and I have completely forgotten about this product in Probably about a year or so back, someone posted it. And I was like, oh, puns. So now I will go in the um, hot washcloth and wipe all of this off. And I will be back. All right, that's done. Now I'm going to tone. I'm literally at the very bottom. Like, do you see that? It's a toner. You can use it to tone, set. But now that my face is completely clean, before I moisturize, I just spray this. So, because I got to get my fan ready before I spray. Because my eyes will be closed. About a year and a half ago, I bought two of these. <laughs> these are wig caps. And that I bought two wigs, I was going to try it. And I hadn't really worn them. So, this cap is still in the pack, but it is perfect for fanning after I spray. Alright, I'm gonna go and do the rest of my night prep, but I wanted to properly close with you all. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this day three of October, and I hope you come back again tomorrow. Make sure you hit the subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up, and share it with your friends.